Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching The Foster Season 3, Episode 7. This one's called Faith, Hope, Love. If you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, would like to get early access to my reactions, would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, the links are down below. Let's get into this episode. So what kind of powers does Super Kali have? Does she fly? She doesn't just fly. It's, it's more like gravitational manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she flies. <laughs> and why do you only draw, like, superheroes? I guess I, I just spent a long time hoping that I'm more than what the world thinks of me. Wait, is that him? Oh, she's gonna be his brother. <laughs> Looking good, Mr. Man. Ty, this is Callie. She's the girl that got me in with her foster family. Oh, I appreciate you looking out for my baby bro, Callie. You know, it's been hard for him being the less handsome Hinsdale boy. Hey. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Ty. Um, I'm gonna go meet Mariana, but I'll see you at home. All right. So I'm taking it. Steph hasn't said anything to them yet. So she know? Know what? That we're leaving. Mm. I guess these belong to you now. Ah, thank you. <laughs> oh, don't forget to move your car for street cleaning. Those tickets are a racket. Thank you for the heads up. <laughs> I can't believe we just bought a car. You can't just tell moms we bought a car and then hit them up for money for insurance. That stuff's expensive. Well, between the two of us, it shouldn't take long to save up. Yeah. Until then, Lucille has to stay parked on the street. Okay, fine. Callie, is that you? Yeah. Could you come here, please? All right. This has got to be the talk, right? Hey. Oh, they brought her in. Um, Rita. Are you... We asked Rita to stop by because we wanted to talk to her about you and AJ. I saw the two of you kiss after the party. Uh, okay, it only happened that once, and, and I know that nothing, we can't, um, while he's living here, so. We can't risk anything affecting your adoption. The only way to protect everyone is to separate you and AJ. You guys can't live in this house together. So what are you gonna do? Okay. I see two options. One, they kick AJ out, unfortunately. And that's probably gonna push him to want to leave with his brother. Because I think it's kind of questioning whether or not he wants to go now. Uh, or Callie could go live with Robert until Mike gets his license and AJ can move in with him. Neither sound good, but that's all I can think of. So the plan is we share gin. The three of us agreed to a Chinese wall. No pun intended. I am completely neutral. I promise I won't say anything about what the other's working on. You sure you're okay taking on two composers? It's a lot of extra work. It's also two shots to play at Disney Hall. All That's right, then. true. Thank you for giving me another shot, guys. Seriously, and this place is crazy and everyone's so intense. It's nice to make some real friends. Yeah, no worries, man. We gotta look out for each other when we can. Well, we have a little bit of an announcement. Um, AJ is not gonna be staying with us any longer. He isn't? He's going to be staying with Rita. Yes. Just until I get my foster license. Why? Uh, our license is expired, and with Kelly's adoption coming up soon, you know, we're, we're not going to take the courses to renew. Anna asked me to be Isabella's godmother. Oh, honey. Well, that's really great, love. That's a great honor. It sure is. is. And Isabella's not the only one that's going to get baptized. Meaning? I am too. In the Catholic Church? Yeah. <laughs> Why? What do you mean, no? If that's what she wants to do, Steph shouldn't have a say about that. This is not Brandon all over again, okay? This thing with AJ, yeah, it shouldn't have happened, but it's not like I'm in love with him. Okay. You gotta be smart, Callie. You can't go through life just repeating the same mistakes. I promise. 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 Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Victor's just worried that if I don't, he won't see me in heaven. Oh, Honey, my. that is just ridiculous. Not oh. to him. And don't you think it's a good insurance policy? I mean, just in case? We don't no. believe in heaven and hell. That's not Honey. how baptism works. What do we believe in? It's not like we ever go to church. You have do we to believe actually in God? believe in it. In it. Well, you can't just do it we believe for in insurance love. that you're going to go to heaven. That's not and how it works. in a higher power that lives within all things. One that inspires us to be kind and compassionate to each other. What we don't believe in is an angry old man up in the sky threatening to send us to hell if we don't do as he says. 
I don't have to believe in any of that. I'm not converting. I just, I want to be Isabella's godmother. And I can't if I don't get baptized. Yeah, that's not 100% true. Hey. Hi. My sister was, so you, uh, is. Sorry, seem go. I don't know. We don't talk anymore, but technically she what? is my well, daughter's the reasons Mom godmother. Says and she's not Catholic Why, or you? baptized. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess so. But the godfather had to be. So only one of the godparents so how's had to be. Uh, good. Well, and it was a Catholic think, church. I'm, I'm so. trying to make kind of... So what'd you think? Am I crazy or be, be honest? Prepared piano. It's bold. Too bold. There's no such thing. It's weird to Take ask risks, him for advice you know? because they're kind of competing Not against each other. Just barely let me back into the program. I'm for it. I've never heard anything like it played here. But of course, I don't have a vote. What would you do? Look, you, you just gotta go with this. You gotta go with your gut. Keep and it as is. what's your gut saying when you want to throw up? <laughs> if you're abusing your pain medication. Well, I'm not. So stop scrutinizing every single thing I do. It's some air. But I don't want you to... What is she doing? Is she not going to confront them, is she? What are you? We would like to have a conversation with the Gutierrez's, if that's all right. If Mariana isn't baptized before she dies, her soul will be in limbo. And we don't want her to suffer waiting for purification before she joins God in heaven. We didn't mean to overstep. But here's the thing. Jesus and Mariana are not your children. Or your grandchildren. You have a relationship with Mariana because we allow it. It's not your place to parent her. She's right. They're right. They're her parents. I'm sorry. I, I should have asked permission before any of this. Yes. Yes, you should have. Fine. You're right. Absolutely. Well, let me ask you something. Do you not believe in God? That's a fairly personal question, Elena. OK. Then tell me this. Is there any reason you don't want your children to believe in God? So, lonely white cop wants to foster a black teen. Oh, I've seen this movie before. Let me guess. You're going to save my brother from being dangerous, violent, and criminally inclined, right? I'm fostering AJ so I can provide him with a home. Until he ages out. He's almost 18. Would you need a few months of government checks that bad? Tar. Look, I'm... I'm not just in this till he turns 18. I'm not gonna just throw him out. I want him to go to college, get an education. I'm gonna support him any way I can. Look, I'm not in this for just a few months. This is forever. Why are you moving around so much? I, I kissed my foster sister. Why didn't she have to move out? Because because the black kid kissed a white girl, and that's a big no, mess. No, no. Our moms is black. Whatever. They moving your ass out because they're getting rid of you. They don't want you to have anything to do with that girl. No. That is not like that. Listen to me, AJ. This Mike is not your forever father. They are getting rid of you as sure as I'm sitting here. As soon as you wake up and realize that, you give me a call. It's not what's going on. Hey, what Don't let your brother pollute you. His brother is very judgmental and seeing things that aren't happening because of past experiences. Did he change it? I liked your piece. I really did. But I feel like you're holding back, Brandon. You've got to be more imaginative, braver, and bolder. Like, this is the time to take chances. You're not going to get yeah, anywhere. Yeah, go back to the Definitely way it was. Not Disney Hall. I plane it safe. I also know that you're the reason that Callie got fired from the drop-in center. Well, uh oh. What do you mean Callie got fired? What happened? It was before I even met you. She let me spend the night there, and I took off, stole some spray paint. I see. She didn't want Steph and Lena to find out, so. OK. But the point is, there are no second chances with me. There'll be no lying, no stealing, no running away, no fighting. One strike, and you're out. You got it? Got it. This was an ultimatum. This was blackmail. Victor literally said, you cannot be godmother if you're not baptized. What is that? It's their beliefs. Well, it's not their place to impose their beliefs on our daughter. Uh, or you okay. guys. Are you doing the same thing? That we would They're allow imposing our their beliefs to their own spiritual paths. To the kids. I don't know. When does that, when does that start? Look, I, I think Callie's a great girl. 
honest. I, I just don't think getting involved with her is a great idea. How come? She just has a lot of stuff to work out, and um, she comes with more than her fair share of drama. Uh, there's just a lot of other girls out there, AJ. I, I, I just think he might be better off. She's reaffirming what his brother said, that they don't want him anything to do with Callie. So are you okay? I heard you and Elena fighting yesterday, and... And you want to know if I'm abusing my painkillers? I flushed them, the whole bottle. I've been trying to live with the pain, but I finally realized I can't. <laughs> so I got a refill. Why didn't you tell your mom that? Because my parents only see me as an addict. If they had the slightest idea that I was worried about relapsing, they'd, they'd be all over me. You came. Well, of course we came. And we come bearing gifts. One of those in there is for you, and the other is for Isabella to commemorate your godmother-goddaughter bond. So pretty, thank you. Is it a sin to say the oath and not believe it? Well, it is a sin to lie, but what, what don't you believe? Well, you met my moms. They're married. Would the church accept them? Of course. We welcome all sinners. They're not sinners. <clears throat> Rita told Mike I got you I don't fired. Don't want to get into religion talk. 